This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip to Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And as you can see by the thumbnail and the picture on the screen, we're going to be talking a little bit about Isaiah Likely. Now, on the thumbnail, you might have clicked it and, and said, why is this guy comparing Likely to Travis Kelsey? When we get into the film part of it, you'll see, and I'll try to explain to you the intangibles that I see in Likely's game. And not only did I see it in person, uh, Sunday night, when I got the film uh, the next couple of days, I started to see even more on the tape. He has an uncanny ability to find open space. We all know he does a good job of, of catching the ball when open, and obviously he has some early season drops and whatnot. But finding space is what Kelsey does well and able to make guys miss and maneuver within space, especially during scramble drills. A lot of Travis Kelsey's big plays come when Mahomes get out of the pocket. And so if you look at, you know, the, the clips I'm going to show you, two or three of these plays, and he had five catches, came when Lamar started scrambling. So he has a spatial awareness. He has the ability to find, you know, open gaps and present himself to the quarterback. And he also goes and gets the football. Like he's building trust with Lamar. If you look at the picture that I have on the screen, this catch alone, if, you know, will do wonders for the confidence of Lamar has in him. So he may, he now may get more 50-50 opportunities just off this catch right here. Just off this catch right here. Now, as far as his numbers for the year, and I will say this, both times when Mark uh, were, was not able to play because of injury, this kid is filled in admirably. admirably. Like, I know early in the year he had some issues, you know, maybe not, I ain't going to say not playing hard, but focus issues and drops and whatnot. But, man, this, <laughs> every time Mark goes out and he has to play, like he has to be the guy, he shows up. So his numbers for the year, he went, you know, early in the season, game one to one target, two one target, three two targets, no targets, game four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one in game nine. So now, you know, and we get in the area where Mark goes out these last three games, six, seven, and six, yeah, with catches in the last three games, four, five, and five. On the season, he has 31 targets, 23 catches, 282 yards with two TDs. Now, I think these past two weeks is what you're going to get out of Isaiah Likely going forward. Especially, I don't know how Mark's feel about coming back or getting an age and whatnot, but if we can keep Isaiah Likely, on this team with Lamar and be able to grow with Lamar because Lamar is only going to get better as a passer too. Lamar is pretty good as a passer, but he's going to get better. Especially once he gets the full grasp of a Munkin system. I think Lamar and, and whoever decides they want to come play receiver or tight end in Baltimore is going to have a lot of productivity, a lot of productivity. But again, I think we're seeing the birth of a Travis Kelsey 2.0 and Isaiah Likely. And just look at his body movements. They're similar to Travis Kelsey. They're not as robotic as normal tight ends. Like Kelsey, not Kelsey, like Kittle and Mark, they have, they're have they're good tight ends, but their movements are so strong and powerful and robotic. Kelsey's not. Isaiah Likely he's not. Darren Waller's not. Hell, even Laporta in, in, in Detroit, his movements are not robotic like that. So, you know, I think we have – a great group of tight ends in the NFL. I think this kid is ready to put his stamp on being in that conversation. Not great, but just growing into a good tight end and whatnot. And depending on how the situation shapes out with, with um, Mark, and I'm, I'm by no means pushing Mark out the door, I think we have a great backup plan for whatever happens with Mark and decide, you know, whatever goes on there. But let's dive into the film. And uh, if you have not liked the video so far, Please do so. Welcome back to Zip the Tally Films. All right. 
appreciate you guys for coming through. Let's get into this Isaiah Likely film. And again, the reason I said what I said about him potentially being the next coming of Travis Kelsey is because the way he's able to work zone areas and find open spaces. We already know he has the wiggle to make guys miss, to break tackles. He's not a, a, a straight bulldozing runner, runner. So he can finesse his way in and out of situations similar to what Travis Kelsey can do. Now, I'm not saying he's Travis Kelsey now. Travis Kelsey's in his final form. This is what could be the, the birth of the next Travis Kelsey because of his skill set, basically being a big receiver that can get in and do tight end stuff, which is what Travis Kelsey is. Let's get into his, his plays from, from uh, Sunday night. Again, this is this is Lamar's interception. And, you know, and the reason I say what I say, because if you just give likely this, this ball, look at all the space he has. You know, this could go from like a no yard throw to four or five, six yards. And if he makes a guy miss and you get this block on the edge by, by Zay Flowers, who knows what can happen? You know, you give him the ball right here and he, he woke up this sideline. Who knows? So obviously we know Lamar, you know, tried to hit Aguilar or whoever this is back across the middle. And it was picked, but I'm just saying, like the the ability to get open. And this was a great play design by by Munkin. I love when we have guys, whether it be Zay, whether it be Mark Andrews, whether it be Likely, to come underneath the line after on a run boot and be out there wide open. I, I love this type of stuff, especially when you run inside zone away. We were starting to run it with with Mitchell, so this was a great play for me. But again, you know, get him in space and let him do what he do because he's a playmaker too. He's starting to show that again especially after the early season failure, you know, it's mainly in Indianapolis. Let's go to his catches. Yeah, right here, the ability to, you know, and God, this, this is kind of sort of man right here, so he's kind of there, but look, scramble drill. Now, he, like I said, finding the open spot. Look at all this open space right there. He's going to peek. And realize Lamar scrambling that way, he's gonna make himself ready, readily available. But it's also see, there it is. It's also a great touch throw by eight. This is a great touch throw by eight. And I know this film is on unlikely, but we're gonna touch on this from Lamar too. This is like a fadeaway jumper. But what I love about it, instead of just throwing it from this position, watch how Lamar turns his shoulders to make sure he gets the proper um what's the word I'm, I'm looking, elevation on it. Make sure he get it over the DB. And get a good throw on it, too. I love the fact that he just... Because he could have just faded away and tried to, to drop that over him like a like a little teardrop. He gets them shoulders square. Kind of sort of gets the feet set. And drops it over. And he's still fading away. But look how accurate that ball is. Likely rewards him by going to get it, finding the open space. And you go from being third and long or maybe even a sack to a first down. And again, tell me... Tell me Kelsey don't do not do stuff like that. He don't find the open spots and, and get there and make himself ready avail readily available for Mahomes. Now, like you're walking down to the top of your screen. Now, in this case right here, he's he's the inline tight end, and they're going to fake inside zone again, but you really only got two guys over there to defend him. Number one, the linebacker is tucked too far in the box. Number two, the safety is too too deep to defend him, and you got your corner you know, out there on, I think that's Bateman. They're in a the cover two look. But watch this. He's going to fake the inside zone, reading that guy. Like the arch. Now, at this point, this fast, no one's there to defend likely. If you get in the ball right now, he has a chance to get up the field and do something. Watch the side on throw by Lamar. Because this, this kid right here is unblocked. This kid is unblocked. Watch the side on angle Lamar has, has throws here. And we've been talking about him being able to do this a lot more lately. Those are the three guys, like, none of those guys are in position to defend like this. But watch this throw. Mm. Just like that. Look at the angle. Instead of coming over the top, look at the sidearm angle. Wow, what's that? Trayvon Walker is jumping straight up. He has to try to adjust his, his, his reach because Lamar dropped sidearm on him. See it? Trayvon's jumping straight up, but Lamar dropped that thing sidearm, gets it to his playmaking space. Now, this pass is pretty much behind the line of scrimmage. This is a negative negative throw. This is a minus one yard throw. Trying 
turns into a first down. Turns into a first down. And again, he ain't shake nobody out the shoes. He ain't do anything crazy or spectacular. Got, he took a negative play, got five yards, and turns into a first down. Who else do that? What other tight end does that? And again, I'm not saying he's Travis Kelsey yet. But I think this could be the birth of the next coming of Travis Kelsey. And I don't know if he's going to get the yards like that. He could. He could put up a ton of numbers with Lamar as his quarterback long term. But we, we, we'll see. Next play. We got him arcing. And again, nobody, nobody's really open. But he's... You know, he sees that open space and is kind of throwing his hand up for it. And once again, we go in the scrimmage drill. Lamar almost gets sacked right there. And look at that space that I highlighted a second ago. It's still that wide open. He's going to point in that direction. Lamar sees it. But the thing is, you really would love for Lamar to kind of throw this ball and lead him back there. But he can't because he's getting pressure. So he just got to get it up. He just got to get it up and out. And this, and this is one of those times where you just have to trust your playmate. Got it up. Didn't get enough on it. Look at, look at, look at like to get the feet together. Look at him gather the feet like a rebounder. Just like a rebounder. And go high point that thing between two people. This, the safety trying to hit him low. This dude went for the ball. He went and got it on both of them. And again, this builds trust. This builds trust. We know Lavar is big on trust. If you don't trust you, he's not throwing you the ball. We know that. This builds trust. Plays like this. But again, let's watch an even better angle of it. Again, like he's on the right side of the screen, he's on arc release. And wow, you know, 91 almost gets a sack on Lamar. Lamar was doing Lamar things. Almost gets him twice. But watch likely. High point this thing. Look at that. The highest point, both two hands on it, eyes on the ball, because we all know we catch with your eyes. Takes the contact from both guys and really is unfazed by it. First down. Next. And this is a little subtle stuff that I see glimpses of Travis Kelsey in. That like that, you know, Kelsey does that too. But this is what I love. This is what I love. Now, at, at this point right here, the read is this, 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 in the free safety. Now, when he freezes, when he freezes with Kolar running it, Lamar knows he has to throw the ball to likely. He has to drill this thing in there. Like, it, it can't be any air on it. It has to be a missile. And that's what you get. Likely takes the contact again from him. Holds on to the ball, touchdown. Again, similarities of the individuals I mentioned in the monologue. Yeah, and this last catch right here. He's just good in space. He's good in space. The next evolution is we need to see what he can do when guys playing a man. A good chip right there. A good simple little screen, which you're going to get Zyler right in front of him. Now, what can you do in space? How, how shifty are you? Well, we know, we know Kelsey's shifty. Setting the block up. Just, just patiently setting the block up. Not just because he could have took off running and left Zyler. If he, he could have took off running and got in front of Zyla and these two guys could have came in and made the tackle. But he didn't. He stayed patient. Stayed patient with it. Let Zyla get out in front of him. And now, he's trying to set the blocks up. Again, none spectacular. It's just good football. That's all that is. This was a good football game for him. The one target he didn't catch really wasn't because of his fault. Lamar was kind of getting pressured, and he just threw it to try to get rid of it so he wouldn't have to take the sack. So that was the one target that he didn't catch. But pretty much all of his targets he caught. Made plays, found open space, uh, made a play for his quarterback, got some yards after the catch. Uh, scramble drill was good. All these things that I said about likely and the, the qualities that you saw in this Jacksonville game is stuff that Kelsey does. And again, I'm saying this again. I don't say he's Travis Kelsey, so please don't put those – don't put that on me. I'm saying this could be the beginning of a Travis Kelsey like endeavor for Isaiah Likely. Because he's only going to get better, in my opinion. And if he stays with Lamar and stays with a good quarterback, that's going to help him continually to get better. But in my opinion, if I'm him, if Lamar stays, I'm staying. <laughs> but that's my two cents. <laughs> but um, if you're still here, hit the like button for me. 
you like the content, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe and hit that bell so you can know when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2023 season and the playoff run. So, appreciate you guys for coming through. This is Coach Evans with Sip the Tally Films, and Isaiah Likely is he the next Travis Kelsey. We'll see. Peace and love.